So for folks don't that don't know Mark Jones, you know, give us this high level summary of your house hacking experience and sort of what 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 you did. Yeah, man. So um I house hack, I kind of stumbled upon it and did it accidentally um in terms of house hacking. It wasn't coined um, you know, I guess it, what is that, six years ago, um, seven years ago when I first house hacked, it was coined, I wanna live for free, I wanna eliminate this huge bill that keeps hitting my personal budget every month. Um, and I was just a young kid straight out of school working um, as a working professional. But again, doing my budget, I'm like, if I could get rid of this line item, um, I can make progress, I can make headway, and I can open up a world of possibilities. And it just so happened that I had a roommate, or excuse me, not a roommate, I had a neighbor who was moving out. He's a sharp guy. And he and his girlfriend were moving out and getting a um, renting a room in a large house. And he was saying it's a five bedroom house. We're going to cut our expenses in half um, or more than that. And um, we'll still have access to all these amenities. And he said, you should think of the same, like how to eliminate your living expense. And I was like, man, that, I've already been kind of thinking about it. That'd be cool. Um, so I talked to some people, talked to my dad, started researching uh, personal finance and real estate books at Barnes and Nobles. And eventually I bought a single family uh, residence and rented out the rooms to um, young guys and gals my age, covered the, uh, the mortgage PITI. Um, and it, it didn't seem real at first because I'm like, I'm working. I have a decent job, a good job. But like, most of my expenses were low. I had student loans, but they're low. My car note was low. Actually, my car was paid off. I have a car note, groceries. I'm a single guy. It just didn't seem real that this could work. Um, and that opened up the door to real estate, personal finance, changed how I saw things. Um, and I ended up getting the next house hack because I positioned myself with the first one. And that second one is a triplex in Los Angeles, um, where I'm calling from now. And, and and that's a pretty cool story that that we'll dive into here in a bit. So. Well, when did you buy that single family? Was that what, like 2012, 2013, somewhere in there? No. So it was uh, 2015, I think. Okay. The crazy thing is, uh, Andrew, I had the idea and like my dad planted the seed in my mind in 2012, but I didn't listen to him. I'm like, um, he's like, don't buy. We don't usually get don't listen to our parents, right? <laughs> he said, don't get an apartment, uh, buy a house. Um, you know, you can, you can, you can get some roommates, you know. If you don't get the roommates, it'll go up in value, whatever. I didn't listen to them. So by 2013, 2014, I started thinking like, man, I didn't take this seriously. How can I get qualified and purchase? But um, I didn't end up purchasing until 2015 and finally bringing things together. So it was 2015. So did, did your dad have experience in real estate or did this just sort of make sense to him of like, hey, you're a young guy, get a bunch of roommates. It's going to help you get ahead. Yeah. So interestingly enough, my dad, like, you know, I don't know if you're like, so like, I don't know how familiar you are with real estate in terms of like the eighties and, you know, in the seventies, um, the, the loan, um, lending process, application process way more lenient. So they had like no doc loans. They had all kind of, um, simple ways or easy ways to get loans, um, back in the day. So, that's not why the only reason why my dad had real estate, but he had some experience in like owning real estate. Um, again, it was a lot easier to attain real estate back in the day. So um, he just always used to talk about like rich dad, poor dad, um, passive income through real estate. And so uh, he showed me, you know, he kind of planted that seed. But again, we just, you know, as a 13 year old, as a 10 year old kid, I'm like, okay, passive income. Like I want to play video games. Like I don't understand. Well, the what value are you talking about dad? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So he, he did own some real estate and we owned our, um, our home growing up and things like that. So kind of had some exposure to it. 